How's it going everybody? Caster Troy here with a new Rust Electronics tutorial. Today I have a circuit that I am nicknaming the RAID system or the Raider Area Indicator Device. This is a system that will detect players and determine whether they are hostile or not and allow them to pass continuing into a base or be trapped and die. Useful for trap bases or area defense internally in your base. So let me run through it real quick before I break it down on how to set it up. And yeah, let's check it out. So obviously right now it's off. Let's turn it on. Fairly simple, but effective. Let's shut her back down so we can go through this. So the premise of this is basically a dual detection system. First, the lasers are going to detect whether a player enters the area and close the door behind them so they cannot leave. Or it will give the owner the base protection. Um, and then there are two heartbeat sensors in there that are going to detect whether the player is hostile or friendly. Um, and that will determine which door opens next, whether you get to continue into the base or the other door will open up with a turret to kill you. And in case you're thinking you can go through and hide on the other side, there are shotgun traps as well. So if you try to run immediately to the area to think you'd be safe, you will die that way. So either way, it keeps people from coming into your base and causing problems. So with that being said, let's run through this circuit and you can see how it's set up. Now this is a fairly costly circuit, so you're going to need quite a bit of power. Um, anticipate looking at maybe you know 60 power plus, which is quite a bit. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, it's definitely not something you're going to want unless you have the resources to do so. But if you do and you want this, this is a cool system to have. Definitely will impress your uh, Rust friends. Anyways, let's get this set up. I'm using a test generator and running that to a smart switch. Now this is a preference. Um, I prefer to have this so I can turn this on and off with um, being at my base or not. Otherwise, you can just have this system run all the time. This front door will remain open and shut behind you if uh, anybody goes in. So your choice here. But I prefer the having the toggle switch from my phone with the Rust Plus app. Next, you're going to have six electrical branches. Each one of these is going to be set to six. Pretty costly. So I'm draining 42 power right here. That's quite a bit. Now, this is just based off of how many lasers I have inside. So I have six inside. If you wanted more, you simply keep chaining them together. And the six is necessary, unfortunately, to get the power to go through this system. So keep that in mind. Every time you add that, you need to add six power and keep that uh, number in check so you have enough power for your whole system. So with that being said, at the end of this, we're running to two more electrical branches. This is for the heartbeat sensors, and I have set these to five. You could set that probably a little lower to three. Um, this is going to two heartbeat sensors. You will need two. The final one here, you're going to run over to another two. Now, this is a preference thing. Just for this uh, demonstration here, I have this one hooked up to a turret. You can have your turret powered separately. So this is an optional thing if you have a separate system for your turrets. Keep that in mind as well. But you will at least need one of these to run to this blocker. And or you can just run it from there. Your choice. Um, so yeah, and then you'll have a blocker. And at the end of either this one here or that one, you will run to um, the bottom of this blocker here. So with that being said, let's take a look inside and see what's going on. So like I said, each one of these is set to six branching out, and they're all running to each one of these lasers here. Every single one. There's three on each wall here. So that's that set up. And then each one of these lasers is powered out to an XOR switch here on the bottom. So I have the three from this wall running into uh, the three ports here on the bottom, two in this one and one in that one. And then both of these are going into this OR switch. 
same deal here for this wall, exact same setup, two on the bottom, one, two, and then the last one on that one and into another OR switch. And then from there, I have an OR switch going into another OR switch from those two. So they all combine out no matter what you do and we'll go to here to make a final decision. Send that over to a splitter. Now the splitter, you're going to run the first one back to your blocker. This will block this power through because this power here is running to this first door controller to open this door. And when that blocks it, it will shut the door behind the person that walks in. So I'll make sure you connect that. The second one, you're running to another door controller. That's this door here. You're running it to this door controller here, so it opens it up, allowing the heartbeat sensors to detect the player. Now, as I said before, there's two heartbeat sensor electrical branches there. They are both running to the power ends of each one of these. Now, what you need to do is you need to, when you're powered on, select one of them to detect authorized players and select the other one only to detect unauthorized players. I know you can have that set up in one, and that's usually what people do, but you need that in this instance so it can detect a hostile player or a um, good player so you can continue through. So what this is going to do, this is my good player one. This door is going to go over here to this door controller. Once it detects a good player, it will then open this door and allow you to go into the base. The second one is going over to this door controller, opening up this garage door and allowing the turret to have its target and kill them. And that's basically the gist of everything. That's how everything works. Um, also, another benefit, too, as you go through this door, once you're out of range of this, this will close back behind you, as well as this open back up. So everything resets, and you're good to go. And I was also talking about the shotgun turret. So say the door opened up to the turret, and there was a player in here, and he thought he could hide. Well, no, you really can't. You can go right here, and guess what? You got shotgun turrets. Kill you. So that's the whole system. I'm going to run it down, and then I'm going to show you the difference of what happens whether you're a good or a bad player. So let's turn it on. So the door is open. Laser grid is active. I'm coming into the base. Door shuts behind me. I'm detected as a good player, so it allows me to come through the base. And then shuts the door behind me. I exit the base. That door closes. Everything is reset to normal. Now, what happens if you're not a good player? So this is our good player detector. Let's change this to exclude me for now and include me on the trap. So now it detects me and the turret is engaging me and killing me. If I try to run, bam, shotgun turrets. So that's it. That is the entire system. And yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd like to see anybody using this. I'd be very interested in seeing, and I hope this is something you can use to help you out in your Rust adventures. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.